hello everyone good evening in the previous topic that is nothing but a chemical equilibrium we have studied the reactions involving the molecules only but in case of the ionic equilibrium we are going to discuss about a number of reversible reactions which are involving the formation of number of ions in water that is the introduction about the ionic equilibrium okay as the best topic today we are going to discuss about the classification of conduct the conductors have been classified into the two major types one is the metallic conductor and another one is electrolytic conductor electrolytic conductors are also called as electrolytes and the metallic conductor also called as ionic conductors so similarly electrolytes have been classified into the two major types one is the strong electrolytes and another one is the weak electrolytes okay this is the major classification now coming to the metallic conductors or ionic conductors now these are the materials or these are the substances which are able to conduct the electricity without the undergoing the chemical change so these are called as metallic conductors okay, what are the best examples of metallic conductors the best examples of metallic conductors are nothing but the iron as well as aluminum okay, those are the best examples of metallic conductors those are the metals which are able to create the conductivity without involving any kind of the chemical change so those are called as metallic conductors now let's moving towards the electrolytic conductors or electrolytes so in case of electrolytic conductors or electrolytics the substance or the materials which undergo the chemical change or the decomposition when electric current passed through it those are called as electrolytes the best examples of electrolytic conductors are nothing but water molecule as well as hydrochloric acid ammonium hydroxide and acetic acid etc now all the compounds do not having the same strength so the electrolytic conductors have been classified into the two major types one is the strong electrolytes and another one is the weak electrolytes the best example of the strong electrolyte is nothing but hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid is called as a strong electrolyte because the hydrochloric acid is undergo complete decomposition or the complete chemical change and also the hcl is having the degree of dissociation is nothing but one degree of dissociation is also represented as alpha and moving to the weak electrolytes the substances or the compounds which undergo the partial decomposition which are called as weak electrolytes the best examples of weak electrolytes are nothing but ammonium hydroxide as well as acetic acid so those are the compounds which exhibit alpha value less than one or there is no degree of dissociation